Hi and welcome back to another exciting instalment of Grade Gain. What we're going to be doing today is looking at another of the GCSE Physics Required Practicals. As always, you can download the information for this from my web shop. The web address is appearing across the screen now. Those are completely free of charge. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at the current voltage characteristics of a non-ohmic conductor. So that is a conductor that does not obey Ohm's law. Remember, Ohm's law, voltage, is current times resistance. In order to do this experiment, you're obviously going to need a set of the instructions. You're going to need a voltmeter an ammeter, a 12 volt bulb, a power supply, and the instructions specify a rheostat or variable resistor. Now, this enables you to change the resistance by sliding this connector at the top and we can control the amount of voltage being applied across our lamp. I'm not going to be using that today because my power supply has got that already built in right here. So the first thing to do is to set up the circuit as shown in the required practical instructions. Now you'll notice that my circuit has a battery and a rheostat. Remember I am replacing all of those with my power supply because it has the rheostat built in here. So, following my circuit round, remember I've got my power supply in replace of the cells and the rheostat. We connect from the power supply to the ammeter. From the ammeter to the lamp and from the lamp back to the power supply. Notice at the moment that I've left my voltmeter out of the circuit because I should have just a simple circuit with my power supply, ammeter and lamp. The ammeter needs to go in series, my voltmeter has to go in parallel so I connect that in parallel across the lamp. I have here a pre-prepared results table that will allow me to record the voltage and I'm going to go from negative 6 volts to positive 6 volts with a zero voltage reading. I will record the current and I will then calculate the resistance. Remember the voltage, as it is in the first column, is my independent variable. My current, the one that I am measuring, is the dependent variable. So here's my circuit set up. I'm going to start on minus 6 volts. Now, on my power supply, it is set to 6 volts and my power supply tells me that I'm delivering 6.02 volts. Now you may not be lucky enough to have a power supply that actually provides the amount of voltage that it says it does. So it's really, really, really important that you write down the voltage that is on the voltmeter and ignore any settings that are on the power supply. So here I can see that my voltage is minus 5.98 and I've got a current of minus 0.24. So now I change the voltage to minus 5 so I can see I've got minus 5.03 and minus 0.22. I'm then going to repeat all of these readings up to 6 volts. So as you can see I've reached the point on my results table where I'm about to do 0 voltage to take my zero voltage reading, I just turn the power supply off and I can see that I've got zero volts, which gives me zero current. 
Now, in order to get my positive voltage readings, all I have to do is swap the connectors on my power supply over. Now if you watch the lamp you can see that on 6 volts it's very very bright and as I reduce the voltage the lamp gets dimmer until it goes out at 1 volt. So having completed the experiment you can see there are my results from minus 5.98 up to plus 5.98 with our zero reading in the middle. We're now going to plot a graph of current and resistance. In order to plot our results we need a sharp pencil and a long ruler. The first thing that we need to do is decide on a suitable scale so obviously my voltage being the independent variable goes on the x-axis and goes from minus 6 to plus 6 and my current on the y-axis goes from minus 0.25 to plus 0.25. So if we look at our graph paper, if I start in the middle here, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 fits beautifully, so does plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I can go up in 0.1s, 0.1, 0.2, and 0.3. So I draw in my axes and label it up. Not forgetting the labels and units and there we have our axes ready to plot so we can now plot the points so minus 5.98 is near enough minus 6 minus 0.24 remember we mark it with a nice neat x the center of the x being the point on the line that we want to use we can now go through and plot the rest of the points Now if we look at our graph we can see that we cannot put a straight line of best fit on these points. So we have to fit a curve. Now this is an S curve starting here running through zero and ending over here. This is the characteristic graph for a non-ohmic filament lamp conductor. If we look at the graph, we can see that we have a curve. This tells us that the resistance is constantly changing. Now the resistance changes as the voltage increases. The resistance goes up because the temperature of the bulb also increases. Now using Ohm's law, you can calculate the resistance for every stage of this experiment. And that concludes our required practical 4B, the resistance characteristics of a non-ohmic conductor. Remember, all the experiments are downloadable from my web shop. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and there will be more of these coming online as and when I get a chance to do them. Good luck with your GCSEs.